A friend of mine just shared that this past week had officially sent her over the edge. And unless a drastic change happened in our country, she didn't know how much more she could take. She went on to say that for the past two years, she has been giving her colleagues that don't have the same skin tone as her the side eye because she's now wondering if they feel the same way as those who look like them but are acting out in the most unbelievable ways. She talked about the uneasiness she feels with people that she once considered more than co-workers and that she's beginning to believe that they too might have been waiting for someone to give them permission. Permission to kill us for sport once again. Permission to call the authorities on us for nothing once again. Permission to shout words and carry signs that hurt to the core Once again, permission to go against everything the word of God they claim to honor clearly states. Once again, I'm afraid, she said. But because we serve an on-time God, a God that is not surprised by anything that happens, my devotional reading from Cindy Trim that particular day fit the moment for both of us. It says, it's time to turn our eyes away from our circumstances and to the God who called Joseph from the prison cell, Moses from the desert, David from the fields, Peter from his fishing boat and Paul from his terrorism. Wherever you are in space and time is the place God has placed you in to see what you see and be concerned about what you are concerned about. Chances are, what bothers you also bothers God. You are his agent. Wherever you are, you have the power to make things different. We ended our discussion with a prayer to a God that is consistent though the world is inconsistent. We prayed to our God in heaven that reaches the depths of the earth. We pray to continue to cling and believe that this too shall pass. And if we are to be used in this change, that we stop being afraid of things that have no power over our God. Reverend Mayle.